We're going to now go into the Abyss Actor combo Piper Director. Now trigger the Field Spell combo. Now plus a thousand billion times. Sorry, guys. Some bricks fell down. It was just my Kashira deck. Almost broke my head. Okay. All right, now that we're done with brick decks like Kashira, let's focus on good decks like Abyss Actors. Because in the new support, with the new support, Abyss Actors are insane. They're insane. I never thought that they would come. The new support makes it there's a plus five with one card and they actually have a board to end on six negates. There's a three card combo and on six negates. There's a one card combo that's plus five. I'm gonna show you guys all the combos in this video. This video is a full combo tutorial guide on everything you need to know about Abyss Actors right here, right now. If you guys this video, I want you to smash the subscribe button. I want you guys to comment down below if you guys want more Pendulum. If we get 100 comments in this video, I will do another Abyss Actor video in a few days. So make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, smash the comments. And you guys want to support not just me, but the creators of this deck. This deck was created by Jibril and Lundrity, who have created a spreadsheet about Kashtira and more importantly, screw Kashtira, idiot, loser deck, Kashtira. But they created it with uh, Abyss Actors. So if you guys want to see the spreadsheet of a bunch of combos on how to play Abyss Actors, make sure to check out www.trippgaming.com. You can find a spreadsheet there of how to play uh, this deck completely made by them. So shout out to Jibriel and shout out to Lundrity. Also, while you're on TrivialGaming.com, check out the beautiful playmats where you can get your beautiful Kashira playmat. Not because you're going to play on it, but because when you, they think that you're going to lock you, you own their ass with Abyss Actors. Because Abyss Actor, a uh, $100 deck, is way better than a $2,000 deck, Kashira loser deck. So let's get into the chat deck. It's called Abyss Actors. So if you guys are ready for the video, Abyss Actors are about to go to Hollywood. Let's go. In our first combo, I'm going to show you guys a one card combo that Abyss Actor Extras by itself. And this could be a few different cards. It doesn't need to be just Abyss Actor Extras. It could be the new spell card. It could be a few other stuff. This card alone will get you a plus five, as well as two interruptions on the opponent's turn with simply one card. So now imagine when this card is backed up with a few more. Our three card, I'm going to show you guys three combos. The last combo gets six negates. This combo is just one card plus five with the Abyss Actors. So you're going to go Extras into Curtain Razor. And this, I'm so surprised that this deck is actually this good. It's insane. This Abyss Actor Link is crazy. So what this card does is you can target one card in your Pendulum Zone, special to summon it, and then place one Abyss Actor Pendulum with a different name from your deck or extra deck to your Pendulum Zone. And then you kind of normal special for the rest of this turn except Abyss Actors. Now, the issue with this is the last line where it says you cannot normal or special monster for the rest of this turn. So keep this in mind. That's some Abyss Actors have that effect where it locks you into Abyss Actors. Now, if you guys play Pendulum, or if you guys play Abyss Actors, all seven Abyss Actor plays in the universe, okay? I want you guys to comment below if you're one of the seven, because I'm, I'm one of the seven. Are you guys one of the, is there six more of you guys? Uh, somewhere out there. This deck is good! So just watch the whole video so I could give me the chance to prove to you guys this deck is actually a serious potential. It has serious potential. So keep going. This is one card combo, don't forget. So you're gonna get a Wild Hope. And then you're gonna make Abyss Actor Super Chad. A super producer, Super Chad. Look at this guy. Abyss Actor Super Producer has a six pack. Abyss Actor Super Producer can deadlift more than Ruggles and me and Goku combined. That's how jacked actor Abyss Actor Super Producer is. Do you want to know why? Because his effect is broken. During the main phase, quick effect, you can target one face of card you control, destroy it. Then you could place any. Look, during the main phase, by the way, you remember this is very important. During the main phase, not yours, not mine, any main phase. It could be your main phase. It could be your opponent's main phase. Doesn't matter. Destroy it. Then you can apply one of the following effects. Place the Abyss Playhouse Fantastic Theater as a field spell. Uh, place it in the field zone or place an Abyss Actor Pendulum Zone from your deck and your pendulum, pendulum Monster from your deck to your Pendulum Zone. This card's insane. It's just two monsters and a Fiend Monster. This card's actually crazy. Don't forget that. During the main phase, you could target one face of card you control, destroy them, apply the following. This card's crazy. So look what it does. It pops Wild Hope. Wild Hope triggers, bro. You scale Madonna and Madonna. A lot of people, you guys know Madonna, right? Famous Madonna. Actually, I don't know any Madonna songs. All right, does that make me uncultured or super based? I don't know. Maybe both. Anyways, so it's going to get Madonna and comic relief out here. And then it gets better. Wild Hope triggers as well. Then we pen summon three. Effect superstar. We're going to get Abyssainment. Crypto Ranger effect again. Guys, look how many cards we have. This is from one card. We're gonna use the effect to get fantasy magic. And now because super producer stays on the turn, this is a one card plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry guys, it's a plus seven with one card. And then here's where it gets big. Super producer will then on their turn, get the field spell out. And it's gonna make it so when your opponent activates a monster effect, the field spell makes it, you negate the monster effect 
and it said you have to get pop one of the abyss actor spells triggering these effects where now you're able to trigger the spell effects on top so it's a double interruption so it's two interruptions with one card plus seven and if you had an extra card it would have been five negates so now i'm going to show you guys a five and six negate combo this was the one card i'm going to show you guys the big ones now i want you to see this this is a two card combo you see these five cards i don't need them i don't need five cards i only need two of them so we're going to use this new card abyss active dress rehearsal this card is insane at the start of main phase one add an abyss actor card and abyss script spell from your deck to your hand what the plus one on the spot add abyss actor card add an abyss script spell crazy then the downside says for the rest of this turn after this card resolves you cannot pen summon monsters except abyss actor monsters this is big but remember it says only you cannot pen summon monsters but abyss monsters this is good because you could still link or xyz into other interruptions or synchro into other interruptions so this is very vital because you can sell special other monsters you can normal other monsters you just cannot pen summon other monsters but you're only pen summoning abyss actors anyways so it's very good to keep in mind so dress rehearsal is broken uh next we're gonna go curtain razor look at this we're gonna use uh the effect of dramatic story which is target abyss actor pendulum monster control special summon and abyss max actor monster with a different from your deck with a different name all right so what this does now means that it just triggers wild hope and specials for free and eventually if you look at this, if this set card in its owner control destroyed by an opponent's card effect you can have a face of a best side pendulum monster extra deck you can return up to two cards on the field to the hand so on their turn we're going to use this we're going to try and use this to pop return up to two cards of the opponent's hand uh, a field back to the hand we're going to resolve curtain razor again we're going to go into beyond the pendulum here because remember we are only locked on a pendulum summoning abyss actors that's vital we're going to pendulum three abyss actors which we're allowed to do we're going to trigger the effect of madonna we're going to go to absolute dragon carnal guy special time gazer apoloza for three we're going to trigger out the vortex we're going to now go into the abyss actor combo hyper director now trigger the field spell combo now plus a thousand billion times we're going to put this opening ceremony in our in our this says look so the field spell read the field spell here this is absurd uh this is what this says while you control a pendulum summon abyss actor pendulum monster curtain razor any monster effect activated by your opponent it says destroy one set spell or trap your opponent controls so now if the when the opponent activates a monster effect for one you negate the monster effect and for two it has to pop this set and what does this set say if this set card in its owner controls destroyed by an opponent's card effect and you have face of a bisector pendulum monster in your extra deck hello we do draw five excuse me draw five and if you wanted more interruptions you could have set this where this says return up to two cards on the field to the hand so this for negate wise could have been pop a negate a monster effect with fantastic theater bounce two back with dramatic story three negates from apoloza uh sorry i don't have enough hands uh fingers on my hand uh vortex dragon negate uh so that's seven interruptions on the opponent's turn where but we don't need seven uh, all we really need is a three from apoloza the vortex then a gate from fantastic theater that's one two three four five uh five and then draw five cards and you're playing a bunch of hand traps so you're drawing five you'd prefer to draw five anyways than bounce two so with this you draw five which is absurd they're, they're literally crazy so you're gonna draw five here and your opponent's not gonna be able to play and you're drawing into hand traps so it's a draw five combo that uh, has a bunch of negates this is vital this is crazy this is insane your opponent's not doing anything your opponent's your opponent's actually crying your opponent's actually crying you're actually gonna see your opponent cry did you ever see an opponent cry before because you're about to after you play abyss actors and you, you sauce on your opponent with abyss actors this is the last combo tutorial i'm going to show you guys this is a three card combo tutorial this deck is just insane because you wouldn't expect this from abyss actors an abyss actor deck that could go plus 10 abyss actors plus 10 what the heck world are you living in the pendulum world baby let's go so this is what is beautiful about this deck is your opponent doesn't know what anything does uh you'll tell them they still won't know what it does because no one has ever played these cards before pen five we just pen five we just how the heck we just pendulum summon five in abyss actors we're gonna make a rise heart <laughs> that's right we make a rise heart by the normal way to do it and then we end on apoloza ddd ddd and uh Kishira, a rise heart i've always liked dds i've always liked it not the deck the bra size but as I, we can still play the best part about the deck in this deck uh a rise heart's also nice to have because this is a macrocosmos and you know, the point is cooked either way i personally prefer the second combo this is my personal favorite version of the deck because you're drawing five so you're gonna have enough interruptions to stop your opponent 
uh, whatever, edit, whatever monster effect they use, they negate it, and you just drop five. So my, that's my personal favorite because you're trying to hand traps. Then I'm going to show you guys the deck list. This is the deck list where we utilize as many cards as we possibly can. The best abyss actors only, no bricks, only the good ones. Where triple curtain razor, triple mellow Madonna, triple extras, one sassy rookie, triple wild hope. Very good in this deck. Double superstar. Uh, that's what you'll be when you guys play this deck. Abyss actor, superstar. That's what you're going to be. Astrograph, triple chrono, and time gazer works well in the deck. Triple dress rehearsal. This card's insane. Uh, triple dramatic story. Also insane. One of each of these. One abyss tainment. One rise of the abyss king. Fantasy magic. Fantastic theater. Just one because it's searchable. And then uh, 10 defensive cards. I like hand traps uh, because you're drawing into five. So you can also play this deck with 12 hand traps. Uh, but that's not... I would play... Actually, you could play triple Nibiru, triple Ash, triple Veiler, and triple Mourner. And then you do the draw five combo and you just draw into the five hand traps and use those as the interruptions. Uh, side deck will differ depending on the, on the format. Then you got Vortex Absolute, DDD guy, uh, Caesar for DD combo, Raiders Knight. And then you got Arc Rebellion XYZ. All this is doable in the deck. Uh, you got Hyper Director. Play three of that. Double Super Producer. These are the vital ones in case you're looking through your deck. But Hyper Director is obviously the most important. And Super Producer. Then you got Mask, Unicorn, Apollosa, and Beyond. This deck is nice. If you guys love what you've seen in this deck, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to smash the like button. Comment below if you guys want to see more Abyss Actors. Also, make sure, guys, get the beautiful playmats down at TripleGaming.com where you get your beautiful Kashtiro playmat. Also, if you love this deck and want to learn more about the combos of this deck, we have a spreadsheet. Chipper and Laundry created the spreadsheet of Abyss Actors on the spreadsheet. It also contains a bunch of combos of the whole set. Teach you how to play Kashtira, how to play Spring Ins, how to play Despia, Branded, uh, New Sprite. Also, we'll have the last spreadsheet of the last form, last set. So there's a lot of combos there for you guys to learn, especially for new players. Highly recommend it. So go check it out on www.trivgaming.com. Thank you guys for watching the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.